Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. We have started the vascular part of the General Surgery and we have been discussing about the arterial disorders, though we haven't discussed about the venous disorders yet. But today we'll be discussing another important, uh, you know, the part of the vascular system, which is the lymphatic system. So most uh, uh, importantly, if we talk about the outline for the today's lecture. So I'm going to give you a brief uh, introduction about the about the lymphatic channels, uh, the organs, which are the lymphatic organs. We'll be talking about the, uh, the thymus, the lymph node, the spleen, their function, uh, particularly their function in the immune system. And we'll be talking about the formation of the lymph and how uh, this lymph is actually draining uh, the different parts of the body and responsible for the drainage of the waste matters and ultimately uh, they become a part of the uh, of the venous system. We'll be talking about uh, the uh, physiology behind the drainage of the lymphatic uh, the lymphatic system, and obviously how the lymph is being produced, and what is the what is the role of the arteries, what is the role of the venous system, and ultimately what uh, important role has to be played by the lymphatic channels in case of the drainage. We'll be talking about some important uh, conditions which are related to the lymphatic channels like the acute lymphangitis. We'll be talking about the presentation, the clinical features, the causative organs behind this and important uh, steps for the treatment. But most importantly, uh, the condition of the lymphatic channels, which is related to, to, the, to the surgical department, is the lymphedema. Because there are a lot of, lot of other conditions in which a patient can present to you with a swollen limb, and lymphedema is one of the differential diagnoses that comes into your mind. Most of the time, it, it remains undiagnosed and mistreated, and because of that, the patient develops the advanced stages of the lymphedema. So more, more precisely, we'll be talking about the presentation, we'll be talking about the signs and symptoms, we'll be talking about the risk factors, which uh, particularly in the upper limb, which are responsible for the development of the lymphedema. And we'll be talking about the risk factors which are associated with the development of the lymphedema in the lower limb. Then uh, important thing to be discussed uh, in case of the lymphedema in today's lecture is its pathophysiology. So we'll be talking about the phenomena behind all this and obviously their consequences. We'll be talking about the symptoms uh, for the lymphedema. We'll be talking about the classifications, uh, the primary uh, lymphedema and the secondary lymphedema. And more precisely and more importantly, we'll be talking about the stages of the lymphedema, which are very, very important. And they actually, uh, they actually, you know, determine the severity and your treatment obviously depends upon that. There's some malignant conditions uh, which are related to the lymphedema. We'll be talking those malignant conditions. We'll be talking about, you know, generally if the patient presents to you with a swollen limb. So most importantly, we'll be discussing about the differential diagnosis that usually comes into your mind. That should come into your mind when you're investigating a case of the lymphedema. So uh, we'll be talking in detail in our uh, lecture. So there are some other lectures on our site and you can always go there. You can get access and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching scardia.com with Dr. Sana Khan.